issues do now. I was talking to the CEO at Sharon Regional. They get um, reimbursed from private insurance with Medicare plus 5%. That had been the original proposal that the public plan would be Medicare plus 5%, but now it got changed to being negotiated. So they would negotiate with the um, providers just like the insurance companies would, and that's how it would be competition. But when you would go into the exchange, for example, if you were uninsured and you went into the exchange, you would be able to say, well, I want the public, which is really, um, let me explain, it would be sort of like the generic. It would be like the generic plan versus UPMCs versus, just like you can go to the pharmacy now and you can choose a generic drug over the brand name, this would be a generic policy over uh, one of these ones that we now already know. Okay, I'm going to pick somebody over from this side. A uh, gentleman in a red shirt in the back. I was mostly worried about Social Security and, and carrying that into health care. Um, I was kind of curious to know, Bernie Madoff was running a, a Ponzi scheme and he was getting money out of it. Social Security is a Ponzi scheme and I'd like to know what the IOU total is that the Treasury owes into Social Security. And based on that, why should I trust you with my health care money? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, if you're wondering about where Social Security is termed right now, what's I wasn't in Congress when they allowed us to dip into the Social Security Trust Fund. I think that was wrong. It should never have happened. You know, when people put money in there trusting that it was going to be safe. And I think Social Security has to be one of the things that we address very soon because if not, it's going to become insolvent and you and I, who've been paying into it all these years, are not going to have the benefits from that. How's that not going to carry into health care? Well, it's hopefully we're designing a much better way to deal with this. We're looking at the fraud. One of the things we are doing, and this was this came from the administration, and this is in everything in government. We, in my committees that I'm in, we are doing a lot of oversight that was never done or hasn't been done in a long time on many of the federal programs that are out there because there's a lot of waste, fraud, and abuse going on, and we've got to make sure that we are good stewards of every one of your tax dollars. I, I agree with that. I agree, agree with you completely. You know, I went to Congress for many reasons, that being one of them. Thank you. Okay, let's go over here, over here in front. Hi, thank you for coming here. I do, I do appreciate it. Um, my, uh, I, first of all, I'm just, I'm a private citizen. I'm here on my own. I've read parts of this bill, and my, my biggest question has to do with this health, health insurance exchange because my understanding is that the government will be setting up um, commissions, two, two panels, two commissions to establish benefits for everybody who's in this exchange. Um, the Health Benefits Advisory Committee and the Health Choices Administration will basically set up all the benefits for everybody in this exchange and then my understanding is that the goal is to get pretty much all of the private health insurers in this exchange. So my question is, isn't that an awful lot of government involvement in health care when, yes, reform is absolutely necessary, but I, I just can't understand why that level of government